channel, movie goers, movie lovers, and movie fanatics. So I got some breaking news for you guys. Since the recent firing of Colin Trevorrow of Star Wars Episode 9, today they released that J.J. Abrams will be helming the role as director, and I think they said partial writer on Star Wars Episode 9. Now, this is great news for J.J. Abrams you know, fans. I think he did a great job with Force Awakens. I didn't have any issues with Force Awakens. More Majority of the, the people that I know felt like he tried to recreate New Hope in sort of a way. They're like, can, can you give us like a different Star Wars film? But I didn't have a problem with that. I thought it was good. I, I enjoyed it a lot. But he will be directing episode nine, which also the release date has been pushed back. It was in May. I think it was May 7th or 6th in 2019, but they pushed it back towards December, so the end of the year, which I, I found, kind of found it weird. I was like, why would a Star Wars movie come out in May? I was like, usually it's like, you know, a December type film. So I, I think I think that, you know, the December re release date is much better than a May, May release date. So that with that, so it's, it's pretty cool, man. I, I'm excited to see what J.J. Abrams, you know, has in store for us in episode nine, and we're still we're still waiting for a trailer for episode eight. We're still waiting on it, man. It's killing me. I need something. We got a teaser trailer a couple of months ago, but that wasn't enough for me. I need a trailer, and this movie is like damn near three, four months out already, and we haven't released anything. It might get released in the New York Comic Con. I think that's what in October. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong, but. Who knows? I, I'm expecting it to release maybe like in a month or so because, you know, Star Wars comes out in December and, you know, fans are going crazy like me. Like, I need to see something. You know, they release, you know, photos and stuff like that, but nothing big. So, yeah, you guys, J.J. Abrams is directing episode nine. I'm excited. I'm going to see. I'm, oh, God. I need more information, though. You know, I need, I need to know what is happening in episode eight. You know, and what is going to happen in episode nine? Because this is killing me, man. It's killing me, you guys. I need to know something. My theory. I have a little funny theory for you guys. <laughs> Some people think it's funny. Some people think it's ridiculous. I think Mace Windu is um, Supreme Leader Snow. <laughs> That's just a little funny theory for me. Because we never saw him really die, right? Because well, well, that was in episode three. Where he got pushed out of the building, right? Well, electrified, ah, right out of the building. And I was like, you never saw him die. It has to be Supreme Leader Snoke. But it's just jokingly. It's a joke, you know, it's a joke fan theory of mine that I like to say. But yeah, you guys, you know, what do you guys think about J.J. Abrams helming the film for episode nine? I mean, I, I, in, all, in all honesty, I think as Star Wars fans, you're in good hands. You know, I think he did such a fantastic job with Force Awakens. You know, you especially with, you know, really giving us the essence of what Star Wars really is and using practical effects. I feel like that was such a big, big, big thing in my book. I love that he did. Very original and I, I appreciated that so much. But yeah, you guys, comment down below. Let me know what you think about um, J.J. Abrams, you know, directing episode nine. And um, what, do you th what, do you, what do you guys think he can... Do different that he did Force Awake. What what he can do different that he did in Force Awakens, and you know this untitled Star Wars film coming out December twentieth, twenty nineteen. RG guys, a comment, like, share, subscribe. It'd be greatly appreciated. And may the Force be with each and every one of you. I'm out. Peace. We out. We out. We out. We out.